Sorry, well, I'm, th- I'm old. I mean, I know what Facebook Live is, but whenever I think of, I think of how do you sell something. Yeah. Like, and, and speaking of selling, they have red, white, and blue shoes. I mean, yeah. by that I mean red shoes, white, white shoes, shoes, blue, blue shoes. shoes. Yeah. And do you see this, the ticket price on them? Four ninety five. Four hundred ninety-five dollars. He's going to sell now since he's with the Lakers. Yeah, yeah. See, and, and that's the thing. He is in L.A. and they didn't force him to be in L.A. It was a logical choice for him to be drafted number two, and the Lakers had number two. He got what he wanted. And, you know, see, and, and his father said that he's going to bring the other son, find a way to bring the other son. And I was thinking about, it, I'm like, all right, well, that's not possible. But if we be honest, right? <laughs> Um, his I, I forgot this. I keep forgetting this. I think Leangelo. There's Leangelo and there's Lamelo. Lamelo's the youngest. Lamello. Right. Leangelo is not. Well, we also be shot for knowing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <'Cause> Leangelo <laughs> is like he's the least, uh, the least uh, yeah polished one out yeah. of all of them. So if you think about it, say the Lakers do get good, like within a year or something or decent. <laughs> obviously, he wouldn't be a first round pick. No. But he could get to the Lakers by being a second round pick. <laughs> just yeah, by playing in, yeah. yeah, they're gonna. You know, <laughs> it is just. It, it, there has to come a point. There has to be a point where Lonzo Ball has to say, "You know what? I'm a man now." Yeah. Because anybody would say, "Dude, some some advisor, some manager, some someone has to say, look, you're making millions. He's costing you more. I know you're getting all on TV, the whole Kardashian effect, blah blah blah.' WWE. <laughs> but the WWE. And what do you get on the WWE? He used the N word, yeah. right? It's like you know, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like that's not good. <laughs> it's like not good. <laughs> Think about every because every all these point guards are coming out saying they're gonna come for him, right? Yeah, he's in the. It's not, it's not like he's in the east, right? He's in the west. Yeah. Think about day to day the point guards he would have to be facing night in and night out. But he has yeah. Magic Johnson on the side, so yeah. I'm, I'm I'm confident. I mean, yeah, you could be, uh, but the, the point guards he got to face. You talk about Curry, Damian Leonard, um, Westbrook, Westbrook, like night in night out. He he has to do this. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be do they Do they start him day one? I mean, they, oh, they, they kind of have, have to, to, right? They have to, yeah, right? they have to. Yeah, they have to. So, yeah, it's a very... Uh, the future. They got rid of DeAndre Russell. For him. His, his career goes one of three ways. Just me saying that as someone who's seen things like this happen. He becomes a fine player, but gets rid of all that other stuff, and it's just him as a fine player. He, you know, goes nowhere because of who his father is, and he goes nowhere... Just because, and people are like, oh, yeah, that guy with the father, you know, oh, yeah. yeah. Then, you know, really, do, you, you know. do you see him being great? I do. I, you know it's crazy. I, I heard, too. when yeah, I but. hear Jason's kid passing skills, what they say. Yeah, with a sh- like, shoot, like, with a shot. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, that's something. And mm-hmm. the fact that Magic picked him. That's how you know. It's but, like, but then I start thinking of right now, let's think, and we kind of did it when we were doing the basket, the, the, the dream team, you know. Think of, because I see these contracts that are going for players and people are trying to make a point. Of, you know what? Make your kid, it used to be, make your kid be a lefty pitcher. Because if you're a lefty pitcher, you can play for 20 years and make a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. But, oh, make your kid a basketball player. No, no, no. The, the odds of making the NBA are, are, are minuscule. And then think of the household NBA names today. What, 10, 12, you know, household names that are really... I mean, true household. True household. Steph Curry, yeah. LeBron, yep. Kevin Durant, yeah. and Cliff Paul. Yeah, and, and <laughs> <laughs> that's, true. that's true. Sue Bird. No, but the you know, it, it's a small number. It's it's a small small number. And I'm talking down from like that that your grandmother would know. Like my grandmother knew Larry Bird. She knew Magic Johnson. She knew Michael Jordan. She knew Dr. J. I mean, that's mm-hmm. those were big names. Just at the time of the '80s, when she was in her eighties, you know, it was. Never mind before that, Bill Russell That's and Wilt true. and That's Kareem. That's the three players like. that everybody would know. Yeah, yeah. like you know, like I say, times IT time is cute, but not not like no. Like, you got that inside know. basketball kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, That's, you know. So and even Durant is it's, it's skeptical he, too. Yeah, right now it's really LeBron. My grand, Steph Curry. My grandmother's dead, but she, I don't think she would have known Kevin Durant today. Yeah, if, but she would know Steph Curry. All the cha- I mean, Steph Curry does chase commercials with Serena Williams, which is huge. You're talking a big bank, and there the two of them are, and it's a funny commercial. It's, you know, yeah. it's fun loving and all that kind of stuff. So there's that, and obviously LeBron is just LeBron, and. Yeah, the I don't. Of the NBA yeah, I don't really. Probably. You know, beyond that, there's not a lot of. And that's why when I see the kind of money that's being paid to these guys, it's like uh, I couldn't pick them out of a lineup. And you're paying when, this guy 132 million dollars. When the next TV contract, I keep saying the next TV contract comes around, they're going to get one billion dollars. They can't. They can't. I mean, they, look what it did to ESPN. It decimated yeah. them. They've had to lay off everybody. But but who's going to be the face of the NBA after LeBron leaves? Because to be honest. Steph Curry is not young. I think Durant. Steph Curry is going to be 20, Kawhi. Yeah, 29. Young. But can you see Kawhi being like the face of the NBA? He's a great player, but that's the best two way player. 
That's true, but I, low I can't market, see. Though. I can't see Kawhi. Yeah, low market. I can't see yeah. Kawhi being the face of. The and game, again, you know there in lies maybe, the rub. Maybe Lonzo Ball. Yeah, he doesn't talk, so he can't be in commercials. Kawhi the, Leonard don't talk. There, he, therein lies the rub. Where you play determines everything. Yeah. Where you play determines everything. You know how you look. You know Kawhi's got a cutesy name. Kawhi. That's a great one word name. Yeah. You could really sell that. But now he's down there. And he don't. He don't he talk. Is. He don't yeah, say. And I'm I saying. think LeBron and Curry. They might be leaving. Even though you know maybe Curry will have better years going ahead. But they might be leaving around the same time. Also, I think Curry's like twenty eight or twenty nine right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's and LeBron is what thirty one. Thirty three. Yeah. Thirty three. Thirty four. Oh, he's thirty three. Thirty four. Yeah. Uh, you know. For I mean, Durant is younger, younger, so yeah. he's got a lot of Only years. Person I can see and he's tattoo list, right? Does Kevin Durant have any tattoos? Because that's a big thing, too, when yeah, it comes bare, to, like, Yeah, the, barely, but yeah. here and there. Maybe, so maybe Anthony Davis? Yeah. Maybe? Anthony yeah, Davis would be good, but again, he's, he's, in a, he's in obscurity. Yes, he's, in, he's, in, he's in the worst. I think he's in the worst place to play. He's on Bourbon Street every night. Like, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. But just in terms of, he plays for a team called the Pelicans. That's not right. Hey, hey, New Orleans also has the baby cake stuff. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> it's like he just. Snapple it's like facts. it's like there's nothing that tells me. Hey, look, aren't you that star player from the Pelicans? You know, it's, like, it's, yeah, it's yeah. there's nothing, and and he's got such an ordinary name too, yeah, Anthony he, Davis. He should be doing my taxes. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like. No, he, <laughs> he, he should be the guy you're calling up. How's Anthony Davis from H&R Block? Oh, How are you doing today? That's really you know. a. He was in the H&R Block um, <laughs> exactly. commercial too. Exactly. <laughs> but that's just yeah, I don't, to I don't, who's going to be that guy. You got who's going to be the face, right? So yeah. was there anybody in this draft? And some of these guys. So let's just go in the draft. Like like Steph Curry, where was he picked in the draft? Seventh. Seventh. So seventh. So top ten. Yeah. One before the Knicks. One yeah. before the Knicks. <laughs> you don't, so you think the Knicks would be smarter than LeBron, LeBron, LeBron exactly was first the overall. The was Durant two behind Odin? Durant yeah. was four. No, he's number two behind Odin. He was two. Sorry, he was two. So, so he's a top guy. Uh, I still can't believe that. Like, they thought Greg Oden was going to be the next Bill Russell. Yeah, no, but Greg Oden—they were lying about his age. I mean, the man looked ninety when he was seventeen. No, but when was, you see these guys in in college, like, how can you even blame these owners? These they really be stars, stars in he college. Was, like, he was Gr- Greg Oden was this monster. He was a block of a man. He was like he was chiseled from stone. He just looked the part. It was. Yeah. It was, it was I remember I had. The, the, whatever the draft was, this, it's a great interview, but I could never play because it's so dated. I had Jason Whitlock on for like an hour, commercial free, on the show here. And the, we spent the first half hour, because Vince Young had just taught, won the Rose Bowl, and it was going to be number one. The USC game. And so we yeah. talked about Vince yeah. Young and whether he's going to be a great pro. And then the next half hour was talking, oh, it was, there was the next, like, because we did a lot of things. Then he was talking about the whole prison mentality and culture had affected sports. He was He's very opinionated, you might know from Jason Whitlock. Yeah. But uh, then we talked about Durant and Odin, and he was all in on Durant like I was. I, I didn't think Odin was going to be anything. And we were right, but it was, it was a great conversation. But it was such a, to think of the zeitgeist of the time that Vince Young, where have you gone? Gone completely, right? Greg Odin, gone completely. It's like we get fooled, and there's no such thing as a can't miss. Can't yeah. miss guys just don't exist. But we got a can't miss caller. Caller on Sports Talk. Hello, Chris. How are you? Hello, Dave. It's amazing with the Nick talk. It's been the same thing for what two months, and it'll be the same thing for two more years, you know, over and over. And again, who's going to win? The, who's going to win the whole thing next year? Same team. We, you know, the the the, the um, Carmelo pool should be like a baby pool. You know, due date, time when the baby's <laughs> when is there a decision made on Carmelo Anthony? We need to we're watching. Just and we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is it is it? Does he get traded? Do, do they buy him out, or they do nothing? You know, it, and or they just or does he waive his trade clause? Yeah, they just. But that well, they have to. He has to waive his trade clause for them to trade him. So yeah. it's 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 either he they stays here, or so if he if he doesn't waive, he can't be traded. But does he stay here? Does he get traded, or do they buy him out? It's one of the three. Might so. scream and say, "I don't care." Yeah. Or does he get benched? But you would Next think level. that all roads should lead to the next to where, okay, a lot of teams have paired up with their these duos now. In some cases, trios. So the Knicks have a guy in Carmelo Anthony who could be a good sidekick for a good team, a superstar. What are you going What are you going to get for him? And I don't think there is anything to get for. I don't, or at least no one's showing their cards right now. It's, it's just. It's just that Melo is just a little bit older. But because if he's one of these young guys, being a sidekick is how much money does Avery Bradley get for being sidekick? Um, like one hundred and fifty. Yeah. Not Avery Bradley. Um, John, um, Bill from Washington. Oh, yeah, he got 100 million. He got, yeah, he got yeah. over 100 million. Being a yeah. sidekick yeah. is like, there's nothing yeah, wrong with nothing that. Wrong with that. So well, he's just too old now. Would Would Anthony Davis and Carmelo Anthony be able to coexist? 
Or they be a small team at that point? I, I think if he's kind of doing it with DeMarcus Cousins, yeah, but they would need a solid point guard to offset Chris both of them. Like Rondo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. like a Rondo or yeah. Chris Paul. That'd to be off, a, to a, offset a, a the a isolation basketball. If only New Orleans once had Chris Paul, that would be really something. Hmm. Well, he made a stupid decision to go to Houston. Yeah, we, no, we no, no, it wasn't his fault. He, he wanted did, to be in the, the NBA Lakers. Rejected deal. He was supposed to be in the Lakers. You know? yeah. That was the NBA trying to make the Clippers be relevant, yeah. right? You know? And not make it look like the, and that was also on the heels of where you had had the 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 referee Tim Donahue, you know, fixing games and everything. Where everyone knows the NBA is fixed, I mean, they could make it look so so suspicious. No, no, we can't let him go there. Uh, no, sorry, Lakers, you can't have him. Kind of thing. I, I was proven to me. I heard a good story about Wally Rooney. He said, Ooh. "Watch this game. I'll call a foul because I can do whatever I want." What did they do? He called the foul the exact second. He, uh, yeah, it can be done. Yeah. Now, Dave, uh, did you happen to watch? And I'll bring it to the guys here as well. Anyone happen to watch the Pacquiao fight of on Saturday night? Oh, God. Yep. I heard the horn blew. Was I, it was on ESPN. Yeah, it was on ESPN. So it, it, it forced me to stay up until 2 o'clock I've, in the morning. I've never been a Pacquiao fan. Like right, like, right now, my favorite fight is, like, Triple G, just the most appealing fight. But I, so he got cheated. Like, yeah, he I, got, yeah, he got like, I don't know how, how else I you, don't know how he lost. How you word that, I mean, number, cheated. Number one thing I learned as a kid in boxing, if you're the champion – they really have to beat you for you to lose your title. Yeah, it has to be so, it. you know, Obvious. let yeah, alone... You're a fighting an Australian in Brisbane. Exactly, at 10 <laughs> o'clock in the morning in Brisbane. But then when the, when the referee has to walk to Horn's corner and say, hey, guys, if your boxer doesn't show any fight, I'm stopping this. What does that mean? And that's the guy who won. <laughs> yeah, the ninth round, they're saying, hey, if you don't show some fight, I'm, I'm, I'm stopping this fight. Yet they have him winning. The fight two two guys one had a one seventeen one eleven which is yeah. just absurd one, one, and it was one, a unanimous decision right no it was yeah. majority oh majority so it was, oh, was oh, one seventeen oh, one eleven oh, and okay. one fifteen one thirteen but there was one round which, which was a ten eight round because he lost by two points and still this guy got one hundred seventeen to a one eleven in one of the by one of the judges it's like what the hell and he'll just make more money on his next fight that's what it is it's just you know. it's it, it builds to the next fight but you know. It was on ESPN, so I love they're saying, you know, the one thing is that the boxing won't be too upset about it. You didn't pay $80 for this fight because right. it was on ESPN. But then you had to deal with Stephen A. Smith staying up till 2 o'clock in the morning going off on how this was, you know, Ow! yeah, it was, it was <laughs> like about, uh, you know, the UFC, even the UFC wouldn't do this, blah, 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 blah. It was, it, was, it was good TV to watch at 2 o'clock in the morning on when boxing used to be relevant. I mean, I enjoyed, I had an 8.30 softball game the next day, so I was a little tired, but I, I enjoyed just watching all the, the, uh, the outrage that was, the manufactured outrage that was out there. Which, that was a good fight, and again, they, uh, the referee at the end, you saw all the blood on his shirt. And, and again, that's just reminiscent of the old days where, uh, you know, two, two as it, the words used to, pugs would go at it. And the referee with the white shirt had blood all over. Yep. And again, again, it was just a, it was a, it was a dynamic uh, shot when he raised the hand up on. And I did see the fight before, and I think that it was a Filipino boxer and a Japanese yeah, boxer, and it was MP Productions. So that's Manny Pacquiao Productions. Oh, it's wow. like just like Oscar De La Hoya has the. It was it was like, okay. The king so. of the Philippines. I mean, like it's, it's, he's, he's a senator. You know, like it's just it's amazing. You know, um, it, it, again, when we talk about money and stuff like that, and we all get by on you know what we get by on. And, uh, Mark, I did send you that thing about my brother. Uh, if you do Google uh, my brother's name, Richard Lean, with the Norfolk Police Department, uh, he's making 50000 and he actually um, got his uh, face punched in because he had to break up a, uh, a guy that was had assault rep- weapons and was going to go in and kill lawyers. And then, I, I think that sort of brings it back, back down to, um, you know, what it's all about. Is yeah. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of guys get paid a lot of money for a couple of, do- you know, a couple right. of minutes, an hour or so. And you know, again, I'm not promoting my brother, but he did do he did stand up, uh, you know, for the Norfolk Police Department, Richard Lean, and uh, and again, it's it, it's a it's just a crazy story, but uh, you never know stuff like that. Yeah, we'll have to look at that. That was in 1982. No, no, Richard. No, no, it, uh, the name of the story. Uh, lead, just put Richard Lean, L-E-A-N, and then put Norfolk PD. It's the lead story. I'm going to hurt someone. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. No, no. I don't well, we had a, we had an NYPD uh, officer killed. No, Norfolk. Yes, uh, no, I'm just saying. Are, are they hiring? She said Norfolk. Norfolk. Yeah. Uh, do you have a college education? Yes. Oh, well, you get well, there. That's all. They have a. Um, there's a. There's a great uh, bar. If, if if bars are your thing, and for half the people on this team, they can't because they're too young. But there's a thing called uh, South Norwalk Sono. It's called up there. It's a huge bar bar area. 
But when so when you, you young whippersnappers reach a certain appropriate age, you you can go hand so no. Yeah, you hear that, guys? Because yeah. in March <laughs> and stay in school. I, I, in March, I just <laughs> officially got, came to the other side. So he's talking about you too, guys. Right yeah. there. <laughs> officially doesn't mean you were doing it before. But. Uh, exactly, I can do what I've been doing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not illegal. It's not illegal until you get caught. Exactly. I, I, I will. I will say that the very first alcoholic drink I ever had.